that we got the summing pattern done, let's get to the intro. So the intro is is uh, starts at the the twelfth fret with this yeah with this E chord variation. You're going to see a lot of variations in this song, so you might be familiar with E, B, uh, C sharp minor, then A. But in this song, we will not uh, we will not uh, strum any chords on this side, but rather uh, the variation that Israel uses in the song. I just E this your E, which I will show you how to play later. Then the B, the C sharp minor, and then the A or A two. If you let go. So why don't I teach you the A first? So your A, your A, your A chord starts at the just adjust it for a while yeah so there we go so this shape you see is real <laughs> use this shape mostly in the song so it starts with your first finger your index finger on the second fret fifth string hi second <laughs> fifth fret second string sorry like this and the second the second finger your middle finger will go, will go on the the sixth fret third string sorry about that the sixth fret third string and then finally your ring finger is on the seventh fret on the fourth string It's almost like a triad shape. I don't know. I'm not very familiar with chord theory yet. But this is your A chord, and once you let go of the the, the first finger, this is what you will call an A2 chord. So you let it ring from the fifth string up to the first, but you leave the uh, A string at the top out. So, you're going to be seeing this shape in the intro because you will, um, you will slide this shape, you will slide this shape to the 12th fret. This is the, if this is, if this was your A, this was your, if you go one step higher, if you go a whole step higher, you go to the V. A B chord, then C, and a D, then your E. That's me mostly the theory behind it. <laughs> so this is the intro. You'll be using this shape. As you notice, as you notice, my pinky is not moving. And my pinky is the only finger that can move because all of my other fingers are preoccupied. So in the song, Israel makes use of this when he plays. So that's mostly the theory behind it. That's how Israel does it. And the strumming pattern for that would be all down strokes. As much as possible, please try to keep your strumming only on the only on the fourth fret below. You don't really want you don't really want to hear the top strings. So if you can you might you might try to mute it but if I were you you just you just drum you just 
just strum these four. The, you strum the first four strings, just to make it easy. And the the motif, the pattern for what Israel does is. Da, 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 da. He lets he places his pinky on the on the uh, well, let's see, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, the fourteenth fret, second string. And then he lets go, and lets he let he lets the uh, he lets this finger ring out. So, so if you if you're not yet uh, if you're not yet used to you're lifting your fingers, if you're not yet used to hammer ons. Uh, you might as well practice with, with this exercise. So that's the first, and then you follow you follow the melody. As you can see, I give, I give time. Once I let go of this this pinky, I let the E the, the E chord the E chord ring out first before I place my pinky on the 14th fret E string. So you, you see the movement is always on the 14th fret. The intro, uh, that's the only that's the only thing that you will practice how to move your pinky between between the between the strings since this is a so I don't know what what tempo it is but it's kind of it's kind of fast not so much but in the intro it is since I don't know it's, the the down pattern is very fast so that's the intro